Yay! See my stupid how to finish food at Loyalty. It's terrible. I hate Finnish weather. Hello guys, I'm George. Hey, Ole and George. Now I'm in the happiest country in the world, Finland. Believe it or not, according to my DNA test result, I have 98% Japanese and 2% Finnish DNA. So I'm technically Finnish. So I've always wanted to visit Finland, my native land. So I'm excited to dive into Finnish culture, taste the cuisine, and explore everything Finland has to offer. Menan! Unlike Japan, there are no ticket gates in Finnish railways, but if you do have a ticket during an onboard inspection, you'll be fined 100 euros for a fair evasion. So I've already bought a ticket on an app called HSL. Here he comes. All right, let's get on the train. Oh my gosh, it's so clean and quiet. No one talks loudly. I love that. All right, so I've just arrived at Helsinki Central Station, which is called Helsingin Parotatiasema in Finnish. So as a 2% Finnish person myself, I love moomin or moomit as Finns call them. Finns also call mozzarella cheese, moomin meat. Finns, correct me if I'm wrong. The moomins became very popular in Japan in the 1990s through anime and picture books, and Japanese people loved them. In 2019, Moomin Valley Park opened in Saitama, Japan as the first moomin-themed amusement park in the country and the first moomin-themed park outside of Finland. As a Finnish, I want to mention that Helsinki has one of the oldest tram systems in the world, dating back to 1891. In Japan, we do have the tram systems in Kyoto, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Hokkaido, but since I live in Tokyo, I hardly ever see the trams. So it's really cool to see the Finnish version of them. All right, I'm at Esplanade Park, a beautiful park filled with flowering plants and several statues. There are also restaurants and shops along its sides. This park leads to Market Square, where I'm headed now. All right, I've made it to Market Square, Helsinki's most famous and international market. This is the place for freshly cooked traditional Finnish foods. It's also the perfect spot for tourists to find all kinds of souvenirs and handcrafted Finnish items. I really like the vibe here, so peaceful and relaxing. All right, right next to Market Square, there is another market called Old Market Hall. This historic market is filled with a variety of vendors selling fresh produce, meats, cheese, and baked goods. It's a great place to explore Finnish culinary delights and pick up some local specialties. I'd love to eat something here, but I have to make space in my stomach because I'm gonna have some amazing Finnish food at Loyuli. All right, now I'm gonna take the tram to Loyuli. Menan! Menan. So speaking of Finland, it's all about salmon soup. Apparently, Loli is the place with the best salmon soup. So let's go to Loli Helsinki, which has a 4.4 star rating from 6,043 reviews. It must be good. So my Finnish subscriber recommended the long drink, a popular alcoholic beverage in Finland. She said that its color represents the gray sky of a Finnish autumn and winter. All right, keep this. I like this a lot. It has a light, crisp, and slightly sweet flavor, making it a perfect drink. All right, I've got the salmon soup called Loshiketo in Finnish with typical Finnish bread, rye bread. Itadakimasu! Mm. Mm. It has a rich, creamy, and comforting flavor, and the salmon chunks in the soup are tender and flaky. I have everything that. Yabe! The only one thing I don't like about Finland is that the weather. It starts raining all of a sudden. <laughs> Holy moly. Stop raining. I'm enjoying my salmon soup. It's terrible. My salmon soup. I hate Finnish weather. So I've just escaped inside the restaurant. It was horrible, but let me just enjoy my salmon soup. So due to the rain, my rye bread got wet. Ah, so this plate is made by a company called Arabia. Arabia is a famous Finnish ceramics brand established in 1873. All right, so you see the rainbow right there. It's beautiful. And right next to the restaurant, there is actually a sauna over here. So there is a sauna and then people jump into the ocean after the sauna. Wow, how cool it is. Must be cold. 
So the staff told me that I have to make a reservation for this, and I didn't make a reservation, of course. So, well, I'm gonna take a sauna in my hotel. All right, so on my way back to the hotel, I'll stop by the grocery store to get some salmiaki, which is a salty licorice candy. And um, yeah, let's get some. All right, this is the nearest grocery store to my hotel. I love how this grocery store has a wide variety of international foods. This aisle, for example, is filled with Japanese items like miso and soy sauce, even Japanese curry and these Japanese snacks as well. It makes me really happy. Should be around here. All right, there you go. Salmiaki. Oh, they even have hot salmiaki? Well, maybe next time. All right, I'm back to my hotel. So as a Finnish and Japanese person, I feel like there's a lot of similarities between Japan and Finland. Let me share these from number one to 10. Number one, taking off shoes indoors. This practice is the same in Japan. I'm staying in an apartment style hotel called Noli Malumi. I highly recommend this hotel for its reasonable price and good location. And yes, I take off my shoes at the entrance here too. Number two, naked sauna. In Japan, we also use saunas naked. According to the internet, there are about 3 million saunas in Finland, with a population of 5.5 million. That's roughly one sauna for every two people. Wow! Number three, safety. Finland is an incredibly safe country. I saw kids walking to school by themselves, just like in Japan. Number four, punctuality. Trains in Finland and Japan arrive on time, and so do the people. Number five, social behavior. Both Finnish and Japanese people are generally shy, but there is a slight difference. In Finland, people value individualism, whereas in Japan, being a part of a group, like friends or community, is important. All right, let me eat some salmiaki before starting number six. I remember having licorice candy in the Netherlands and I hated it. But as a Finn, I have to try it. Itadakimasu! Mmm, it's not bad at first. Oh wait! It tastes worse as it goes on. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. my stupa halta. I'm not a fee anymore. I'm finished. All right, number six, no tipping system. Just like in Japan, there is no tipping system at restaurants in Finland, which is great. Number seven, eating fish. Both Japanese and Finnish culture have a tradition of eating fish. Fish. I like fish. I cannot be a vegetarian. Number eight, forest coverage. The forest area in Finland is about 73%, while in Japan it's about 69%. Both countries are considered forest nations with roughly 70% forest coverage. Number nine, personal space. Finnish and Japanese cultures place a strong emphasis on privacy and personal space. It's very common for us to sit far apart from each other if space allows. Yeah, I don't like it when a stranger sits next to me, it's kind of awkward. I'm like, I need my personal space. Don't invade. Menepois. Number 10. Similar pronunciation. The pronunciation of some Finnish and Japanese words is very similar. For instance, kani. Kani means rabbit in Finnish, but in Japanese, it means crab. Kani. Another one. Uni. It means dream in Finnish, but in Japanese, it means sea urchin. Uni. The funniest one is hai. Hai means shark in Finnish, but in Japanese it means yes. So when we go like hai, 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 it sounds like shark, shark, shark to Finns. Leave your comment down below if you know any other similar words. I actually also got tafel sips, Finland's most famous potato chips. Cheers! Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. They are nicely salted and have a perfect crunch as you can hear. If you ever want to try Finnish chips, you can't go wrong with tafel sips. Mm. All right, the next day, I'm heading to Tempeli Aukion Kirukko, aka the Rock Church or Church in the Rock. All right, so the entrance fee was 8 euros. Take a look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. This amazing church was built in the 1960s inside a rock. It would be amazing if you had your wedding here. Again, the ticket was 8 euros, but it takes you about 10 minutes to see everything. Still worth it for the experience. Now I'm heading to Fazer Cafe Kluvika to Kolme to try their fantastic cinema roll. It's the hardest one to pronounce so far. Wow, look at this. It's so fabulous inside. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, the okay, yeah, thank you very thank much. You. Kitos. Looks beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Kitos.
I've got cafe latte and cinnamon roll. In Finnish, it's called korva pusti. Mmm, the cinnamon flavor is strong, but I like it. It's not too sweet, just the right sweetness. The roll is soft and fluffy with a crunchy pearl sugar topping, making it a perfect treat, especially with coffee. Now I will have my late lunch at restaurant Sabota to have their reindeer. It actually sounds a bit funny to me because in Japanese, Sabota means I skipped class or work. But I'm not gonna skip this restaurant for sure. I've got my reindeer roast. Here we go. Wow, it's so tender. It's my very first time eating reindeer meat. Itadakimasu. Hair cleaning. It's quite unique yet delicious. The flavor is rich and slightly gamey, but not too overpowering. All right, hello, Diana. Hey. Hey. So, Diana took me to Aurinko Daki. Is it correct? Yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Look at the beach. So beautiful with the sunset. Such a cool vibe here. The people hang out. You cannot believe it's 10 p.m. right now. Isn't it crazy? It's still bright. All right, lastly, let me share with you guys the things I like and dislike about Finland. The only one thing I dislike about Finland is Finnish weather. And here are the things I like about Finland. Number five, cleanliness. The streets and public transportation are so clean and I couldn't find any places outside that smelled like weed or pee. Number four, people. People are so kind and lovely. I really felt their hospitality. Number three, brightness at night. I think it's familiar and nothing special for people in Northern Europe, but it's pretty strange to me that it's still bright at 10 p.m. or even 11 p.m. Number two, safety. In Finland, I never felt like anything would be stolen or that I was in danger or killed. Number one, salmon soup. It was one of the best things I've ever eaten in my 29 year life. It was so delicious, it's a must try food when you come to Finland. In light of these, I'd love to live in Finland in the future, but I'm scared of its winters. Thank you, Finland. Kitos. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.